Okay guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, look, this weekend's project and uh, what I'm going to be showing you probably over a series of videos because it's going to end up reasonably long I think uh, is the Pajero NT. Uh, it's a 09 model. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to get done this weekend which is going to require pulling all this dash out. I'm not sure about this middle section. I've got some ideas here but I don't think that's going to happen this weekend. Uh, so the list of things that I need to get through. Uh, brake controller. Uh, that needs to get fitted under there somewhere. The brake controller is probably going to go down under the steering wheel here somewhere, I think. Let's see if we can get you some extra light. Probably going to go down under the steering wheel here somewhere, I think, or possibly on the side, but I think up here uh, to give it, make it nice and level. Uh, we have some extra switches to pop in here next to the ASC. Uh, they're AOB switches, so they should be a direct fit uh, and look reasonably factory. Uh, I want to keep it looking nice. This stupid thing is going to get pulled out. Uh, and we're going to fit a radio in there. Uh, at this stage, I'm not sure whether I'm going... Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of amateur radio. Uh, so the radio that's going to go in there is either going to be just a dual bander, which will cover uh, CB as well. It's probably going to be the one that's going to go in there. I'm going to have to check fitment uh, once I get it out, because it is a bit smaller than uh, single DIN. And I don't have anything made up to go around it. We may make that up over the weekend, or I've got uh, an all-band, uh, all-mode, you know, uh, Yaesu FT857, uh, which may go in there. Now, if that goes in there, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the remote head of the uh, the smaller dual band, but I've got a feeling it might get fixed up here in the corner somewhere, uh, and that might be handy. Obviously, I need to keep in mind what I'm going to do with uh, microphones and, and the bodies of the radio. Most people seem to be manning the bodies of the radio into the uh, into the glove box here, up in that section. Um, now the little dual bander does tend to run fairly hot, uh, so an open space would be good and that would be fairly reasonable, but we'll see how we go there. Uh, other things, uh, obviously if I'm going to wire up these switches, they're going to be wired up to so I can do the driving lights uh, and the LED light bar that need to go on the front. I need to have a look behind this. Uh, there is an amp. Uh, I just recently got this car. There is an amp that's driving a subwoofer and stuff, but I, I don't think I like the way it's set up. So we need to have a look at the back of this. Pull this passenger seat out and uh, see what's going on under there. Because these speakers sound rubbish. I think it's got something to do with the uh, amplifier that's under there and the way it's been connected up. And I have another amp to go in. So we'll, uh, we'll possibly wire that up this weekend as well. Uh, and I Oh, uh, and there's a reversing camera to go with this as well that I want to get wired up. Uh, and I think, I think <laughs> that's pretty much going to do us. Um, oh, okay. Uh, the other thing that we need to route wires is uh, once we've got this seat out, uh, I am going to put a DC DC charger with uh, a 125 amp uh, auxiliary AGM battery over the back there as well. So I want to be routing the wires. Now, the reason I'm packing all this into the weekend uh, is I'm. I'm going away camping uh, next weekend uh, and I will use all of those items uh, the brake controller obviously for the caravan out there uh, I want to have the stereo wired up and, and basically because I'm going to be pulling out all this dash and it's a fairly sizable project uh, to do I believe from the pictures I've seen and I only want to pull it out once I don't want to be pulling it out and then coming back to it in a couple of weeks and having to pull all the dash apart again so even if I don't get all of those things done, I at least want to route the dash wires, the switches, uh, have possibly have everything out there in the engine bay uh, with loose wires, obviously not connected up or powered, uh, and worry about fusing and, and you know connecting to batteries and stuff later on. So for now, I'm going to get started on the dash. Uh, what I did grab is a set of these uh, Tool Pro five-piece molding remover set. Uh, so it's a trim removal set uh, from Super Cheap. I hate it how they put it into this buddy. These sealed things are a pain in the ass to get stuff out uh, and you usually end up cutting it and then cutting your finger as well. So uh, I'll give you a quick review uh, as we go. These things should come in handy uh, for popping out some of these panels. Uh, they don't seem very fine so we'll see how we go there. I may need to get something a bit thinner 
uh, for getting behind some of these panels. But certainly that big one there uh, should be handy for popping off those stupid tabs and whatever. So, or that one there. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm going to get stuck into it. Uh, I'll give you some updates as I go along. Cheers, guys. Okay, so I believe the first stage is popping off, popping off these panels. Uh, so I'm going to get started with those. I know I've seen that mentioned. Uh, that was just clipped in. So just with this fine one, I've got it under the edge there. And uh, just going around it. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Okay, so there's a couple of just these clips here. Uh, there's just a couple of pull clips. So just, I guess, lever it from here and here. And then you can see there's tabs at the back. So she's just going to pull uh, outwards once we've got that out. Okay, so now we're on the passenger side. I'm just going to get that in there. Pop. A bit higher up. Pop. And pull back towards the seat. I'm going to get under these sections here. Uh, just give them a bit of a, a bit of a wiggle. This is the left side of the dash. There go there. I believe there's another couple coming up towards the top. Left, clip there, clip here. Uh, I have noticed when you're going to pull this out, just go gentle on this fascia section uh, because it is just held on by little clips. So you really want to apply the pressure where these clips are. So top left, top right, uh, and bottom right should get you done there. Okay, so that's that right side out. Again, there's our wire harness for the uh, hazard lights. Two pins on top. One pin on the bottom, exactly where we thought it was going to be. Again, just be careful levering these out because uh, they are fairly solid. They clip in pretty well. Uh, but uh, once you've got those out, it just pulls out. We'll disconnect this and uh, we're starting to see some, some space. Now we're on to the aircon controller. Pretty much what I did was got this one. Got in underneath here. Leave it here while pulling on this top corner. And that popped out. And got in under here. Leave it here while putting a bit of pressure backwards on this top corner and she slides out now what you need to be aware of is there are a couple of clips on top here one here and one here that i believe actually lock in somewhere here so we will disconnect this harness on the back so you just a clip here and a clip here just levering it up just to allow me to put a little bit of pressure again on either corner and just pull it straight out here we've got uh clips down the bottom uh, here and here at the top uh, and that's obviously oh, there's another bag uh, replicated on the other side uh, so you can you, you, you know you can just grab it and pull on it but if you get these tools um, I am already thinking these have paid for themselves uh, it's great just to get in and just lever it or with this thing like a hammer and you're getting focused pressure uh, on the point that needs to be released and once you've got those side section out, you can actually see from the side where these are located. So um, that actually makes this job much easier and you're, you're getting the pressure where it needs to be um, rather than just you know, yanking on things uh, and going crazy and less likely to break it. So uh, at this stage, um, a set of you know trim removal tools, highly recommended. I probably should have bought these years ago, actually. And while we're in here... Uh, connection at the back uh, harness going into the radio so just reach uh, sorry into the I guess the info center whatever you want to call that uh, not the biggest fan of that to be honest looks nice but doesn't really do much uh, so we'll disconnect that and uh, we're into the radio